We are almost at Machu Picchu Station. In about two minutes, we are going to be docking. Or docking. <laughs> Landing. Land. <laughs> arriving. Good morning from Cusco. Right now we are inside a collectivo and then we're about to head out to a small town <laughs> called Oyantambo. Oyantambo. And that's where we're gonna catch our train up, way up, or I guess way down. Way I down, down to Machu Picchu. Yeah, to Agua Calientes. Agua Calientes, and then we're gonna stay there overnight and then we're gonna wake up really early, probably about four o'clock tomorrow morning and make our way over to Machu Picchu to try to be first in line. Uh, but first we've got this two hour ride, which by the way costs- 10 so less per person, about $3 each, as yep, Michael said. A little less. And what I'm really excited about is the train. We actually bought the ticket from Peru Rail and it's gonna be our first train experience if the in pictures, Peru. If the pictures prove to be right, it's gonna be a nice train too. Safety first. We have just arrived in Ollante Tambo, o, o, whatever. Oya, Ollante yeah. Tambo. Well, we'll figure it out eventually. And we were told originally that this was going to be a two-hour ride, and we left this morning at about latest quarter past eight, and it is now 9:30. So an hour and 15 minutes. The drive is beautiful, and it seems like it's some kind of shortcut. Looked like it was a pretty new road, and it just goes right along with the Peru Rail Trail. Yeah. So, so. it's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to go and look for the train station because it, it looks like we're up a little bit high for the train station, so we're gonna have to get down. This little town is actually pretty quaint, surrounded by mountain, and just right behind us, I don't know where you can see it, this is where the uh, famous Ollante Tambo ruins, but we're gonna visit later. We're gonna go get a coffee and see if we can get a massage. No, we're not gonna get a massage. Found a coffee spot with a low ceiling or lamp, whatever that is. I'm gonna take my jacket off because it's kind of warm. It is. Well, we're done with our coffee, and now about, what, 10 minute walk to the train station. Yeah. Gonna catch our train to Agua Calientes. Aguas Calientes for hot springs. We gotta find snacks though, we can't find any snacks. Every time we go into a place, it's like terrible snacks. Yeah, so we're hopeful the train station or even the train uh, have some kind of purchase, you know, food or drinks. Because obviously on the train, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Obviously that's not our train, otherwise we will be completely freaking out right now. Ours is next. We're gonna be in carriage F, which is gonna be right there. Okay. We're gonna start lighting up. Let's go ahead. Ooh, so excited. Machu Picchu, here we come. And we're boarding the train. So we got on the train and we were told to absolutely bring our passports because you wouldn't be able to get on a train without your passport. And they looked at our tickets, looked at the passports, didn't open them. We just said get on the train. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. I can't believe we are on a train to Machu Picchu. It's just so exciting. I can. And it has like even windows on the ceiling, so we can look around whatever we want. And it's about maybe two hour journey, I think, to Machu Picchu. Yeah, it should be, I think it's about two hours. So okay. pretty excited. I'm hoping no one sits in front of us because we can get all that leg room, but that's not gonna happen. Nah, we're gonna have a good best friend. We should have got the first class tickets, I think. Train captain and crew on board.
Is there anything maybe the train with the windows on the ceiling are weren't that the greatest idea? Yeah. First of all, it's really warm in this train. And we've been kind of stalling for about five minutes now. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what's going yeah. on. One of our co-passengers is also sort of trying to hang up a makeshift curtain <laughs> in the window. And I went into the restroom and applied sunscreen. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we need the full sun. Not trying to be negative, just telling it like it is. Positive side, we are going to see Machu Picchu. Yeah, the negative side is we're stopped and we may never get there. Start getting red right here. Yeah. There we go, we're moving. station in about two minutes we are going to be docking or docking <laughs> landing land <laughs> arriving and then all of a sudden it's gotten cool in here have you noticed that because the sun went away so most of the time we actually got like underneath the sun so it felt pretty hot but yeah. now it's just pretty cloudy um yeah, i can stay on it for another couple hours now <laughs> i'm excited almost here almost there Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes, we will be arriving at the final station, Machu Picchu Pueblo. Please remain in your seats until the train has come to a complete stop, and make sure you have all of your hands All right, I'm going to say I would never, ever, ever complain about the scenery on that train, but I'm not a big fan of the temperature. However, I'm really glad to get off the train and see all of this around us. And the fresh air. Amazing. We might have given you the impression that we were going to Machu Picchu right away, but we're not. We're going to be sleeping here tonight and getting up and having a ticket at six o'clock tomorrow morning, which means we get into Machu Picchu first, hopefully. Let's head into the gift shop. <laughs> It's like a maze of artisan stuff to get out from the station. Oh my god, this is crazy. Really, to get out from the station, it is just a maze of stuff. It's nuts. It's so much stuff. Yeah, it's a bit of a maze to get through. You know where you're going? Yep, I do now. Maybe let's go downstairs. Well, there's plenty to do here, Michael. What a place to be setting up a football game. At least you can breathe out there, so you get a full breath. Yeah, believe it or not, even though it looks like we're way up in the mountains, which we kind of are, we are about at least a thousand meters lower than we are in Cusco. So it's much easier to breathe here. Yeah, we just checked in our hostel, and now we're about to have our very late lunch, and I'm starving. Let's go. The restaurant is right behind us. We had a good pizza there. It's really, really weird though. We were sitting in there and all of a sudden we felt this really big rumble. I mean, we didn't think it was an earthquake or anything, but it was the train. This is the main street and the train runs through it. That was weird. <laughs> don't know what to say. After pizza lunch, which is cost about 30 US dollars, everything's expensive here. Our next task is to figure out the transportation tomorrow. We get six o'clock entrance to Machu Picchu, and in order to get there, that's about 20 minute maybe bus ride from Agua Calientes. So instead of trying to figure everything out at five o'clock in the morning, that's where we're gonna do now. We went to the bus station and it turned out that they need our passports in order to buy the tickets. So we have to go back and they actually close at 10 o'clock anyway. So we're just gonna wait until later on tonight where we're gonna get the ticket. We have given our passport for every little thing that we've done in Peru. It just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, isn't it beautiful here? So Subida means one way means you get on, but you don't get off. So we get the ticket. We got the ticket. Okay. Twenty-four dollars for basically a fifteen-minute ride. <laughs> A 
basically it looks like a trash pickup. You should call it a speeder. Most things it's speed down the tracks to fix things. Cool. For a city that actually doesn't really have anything much to do, uh, it's actually pretty well lit up. Yeah, it's beautiful actually, but all oh, right, there's absolutely nothing to do here but eat and do tourist things. And I just read uh, someone's post about Aguas Calientes and she said that everything is expensive here because they produce nothing. So everything has to be imported from other cities. Yeah. It just exists solely because of tourism. Yep, so, Machu Picchu, that's the only reason that it's here. Yep, but we're here, glad to be here. We walk around the night. Which is a town that we have to go to about two hours outside of Cusco to catch a train. Yeah, uh, so our plan today is just to go to... <laughs> you, you said everything that I need to say. I don't trust pictures. Don't know okay. what that was, but everybody seems fine. They're just banging in the door. Uh, yeah. We are heading to a place called Oy... Oyantambo. Oyantambo. Oyan something like that. I don't think that's quite correct. But yeah, so from Cusco. Oyantaytambo. Okay, Oyantaytambo. Oyan <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Oyantaytambo. Oyantaytambo. Taytambo. There you go. We'll get it right. <laughs> Big bag of bags. Big bags of bags. I think so. That's very descriptive. Uh, I'm not sure I've ever had mustard on pizza. That's what we're going for. <laughs> 